Hey guys, Bulby Bollinger here, and today I'll be bringing you my Week 4 predictions for the NFL's 2016 season. Now, last week, I went 8-8, I believe, which is not good. But I'm still in the green this season, 27-21, to and hopefully I can rebound this week. Now, first of all, Dolphins versus Bengals. I was surprised to find out that I had actually picked the Bengals to lose their first three games. And I was right on two of those occasions. Now, this time, I'm not going to pick the Bengals to lose again. Because I just don't think the Bengals, regardless of who they're up against, are going to lose three games in a row. I just... Do not see that happening. So, the Dolphins, while yeah, they need a win too, the Bengals, I think, are going to want it a little bit more, and actually probably are the better team anyway. Now, Colts beating Jaguars. I don't... I don't think either of these teams make the playoffs. I'm not sure about the Colts, but I think the Colts are better than the Jaguars, although it's it's kind of close, but I'll say the Colts have it. Okay, Patriots beating Bills. I'm finally picking the Patriots to win a game, guys. While the Bills were impressive against the Cardinals, do we really expect that to last? Now, they are not going to beat the Patriots. So the Patriots, unfortunately, go 4-0. to zero. Texans beating Titans. Now, for... Before the season really started, I kind of expected a lot from the Titans offense. They haven't produced that much. If they were great, I might have given them the advantage uh, over the Texans. But as it is, I think the Texans, despite their really poor showing against the Patriots, are going to be able to win this one. And it really shouldn't be too close. Lions versus beating the Bears. The Bears are a horrible team. The Lions are an eh team, so the Lions will win this. They'll be able to pass over the Bears, probably be able to run on the Bears de pretty decently, and the Bears won't do much of anything. Panthers beating Falcons. <laughs> Falcons proved against the Saints that they have a good offense. Problem is, they proved it against the Saints, so it's not a great offense. And the Panthers showed that they are definitely not undefeatable, as they are 1-2 to two in for their season record. Now, will they lose to the Falcons? I don't think so. This is one of those, I don't really know quite how to call it. <laughs> but I'll give the Panthers the win. <laughs> Jets beating Seahawks. Yeah, that was a, a really ugly game for the Jets last week. Really ugly. And while they're probably up against a better defense, <clears throat> Seahawks offense just the offensive line just is not there. They can't get it going. Jets, I feel, are just gonna dominate them defensively and get the win that way. <coughs> Ravens beating Raiders. Now the Ravens, I don't expect to do all too well for too much longer. But I don't trust the Raiders to do well this season either. <clears throat> so I think the Ravens just have an edge against the Raiders and end up beating them. 
<laughs> Browns. Yeah, the Redskins beat the Browns. They're just better. Now, the Browns are looking for a win sometime soon, but... Yeah, it's, uh... It might not actually happen. Redskins win. <coughs> yeah, Broncos beating the Buccaneers. You know, the Buccaneers are a pretty good team. And they definitely have potential for next season. But this season, I don't think they're going to do all that great. <laughs> and certainly... The offense shouldn't be producing too much against the Broncos. Well, as for the defense, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think the Buccaneers are going to do that great against the Broncos defense. So, Broncos offense. So, the Broncos should be able to pull out a win here. Also, Trevor Simeon has turned out to be very good. <laughs> Cardinals beat Rams. Yeah, when a team like the Cardinals loses that badly, their next game is either going to be them imploding on themselves or them destroying the other team out of their, like, emotions. And I'm pretty sure the Cardinals aren't gonna fail, so... The Rams are going to have some issues. Poor Rams. Cowboys beat 49ers. You know, the 49ers, like, they beat the Rams, which, as it turns out, doesn't seem to be that impressive. They sort of hung in with the Panthers before they got decimated. And then they just got decimated by the Seahawks. So, I don't think they're that good. They used to do alright against the Cowboys, but... Yeah, I expect Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott to have a bit of a field day with these guys, like they did with the Bears. Chargers beating Saints. This game is, uh... I don't know how to call this one. <laughs> like, I think it's a toss-up over... Okay, which, which crap team is slightly less crap? And I think that's the Chargers, but the Saints could just as easily win it. I'm going with Chargers. Steelers beating the Chiefs. That game against... The Eagles was, uh... It was something, wasn't it, Steelers? <laughs> and the Chiefs blew out the Jets, but... I kind of have a feeling they won't be able to do quite as well against the Steelers as the Eagles did. I give the Steelers the win here. <laughs> Giants beating Vikings. As it turns out, the Vikings are actually a pretty good team. <clears throat> and the Giants can lose. Personally, I think the Giants could lose this because... Giants offense does not seem to be that good anymore. <clears throat> it just does not seem to produce as well as it should. That said, their defense should do well enough against the Vikings to pull out a win. And I seriously doubt the Vikings are that good of a team. Is that all? I think that's all. Yep, that's all. Well, see you guys next week. Tell me what you think about these predictions. Get it.